Good morning, my lovely Pisces. Today is Saturday, April the 6th. And Pisces, thank God for waking us up this morning to see this beautiful, beautiful Saturday. Pisces, you are almost on that new moon. It is fierce. I've been telling you about these earthquakes and these floods and water. It's been a while. This has been going on since... I mean, for a minute. Uh, I live in New Jersey. Yes, it was an earthquake for Pisces. Everything that we're going through with these earthquakes and these storms, right? It's very unpredictable, just like you. Very unpredictable. But what I'm asking you is to release. It's what, it's, what it's saying to you is release is the gift of the closing, of this closing balsamic moon. All right? It is the time to, to let go of your past and to look forward for the future. Surrender your old struggles and confusion so you can bring clarity with the upcoming new moon cycle. Okay? That's what you need to have, clarity. And release will give you Suggestion for what is to be in the next cycle. And that's what it's about. It's a written. See, let me tell you something. We look at TV shows and all kinds of uh, reading Bibles and wanting to know, you know, what the Bible is telling you, but let me tell you something, Pisces. It's nothing but telling you to get your life together. It is a way of life. The law of life. And that's some real shit. That's what it's telling you. You know what's right and wrong. You know what's good and bad for you. And you need to be not confused, not discombined, not having amnesia because you know what's in your life and what you don't need. And what ain't good for you, let it, let all that shit go. Embrace what, what is for you. Let me tell you something. Do you know how many people come into your life and come in and out with the same old bullshit? The same old line, the same old shit. They don't change, they keep doing the same old shit. Talking about the same old bullshit. Doing the same old shit over and over and over. Some people you can't tell when to stop smoking and drinking and having habits. Some people would die with these habits. You know the craziest part to me is when people say somebody's at age and what we're getting ready to do and make decisions for them. And they pass away or go into shit before that person even passes away. It, to me, it's insane the way people do things. Okay? And say things. I just look at them and laugh. They act like they're not going to get there. But the thing is, they're the ones that are in the worst because these people are people that will never understand and think they are bigger than the world and, and that they're going to live forever. Okay? 
But what you need to do is embrace and see it for what it is. And stop playing these little games with yourself. Please stop. You understand? Because the worst thing is to be in denial about situations. The only one that will go through the nonsense is you. You know, sometimes you meet people or you know people. They don't freaking stop until they know. They want to know. It ain't got nothing to do with them. They want to know why, what this person is doing. It's like they want to know, and they don't stop. It ain't got shit to do with them. Move on with your life. Stop worrying about what somebody else, and how somebody's living, what they doing, how they doing it. Some people are stalkers, and they stalk people through social media just to see what a person is doing and saying. It is so sad. Like, you got people that need to, be, to stay in their lane because you're already not in your lane. See, you're not in your lane, but you want to know about what somebody else is doing, how they run in their household, what they did. And they're not, they don't even have really, like, you're not, you the, you, like, you over there. Like, you not know, know somebody is special to these people. Like, stay in your lane, honey. Don't worry about what somebody doing in their household with their family and all this. Stay in your lane. Ain't none of your damn business. It, it, it's called, you know what that's called? It's called when you want to be in something. Did you think you're going to be in something and you're not? That's what it's called. It's called when someone is want to know everything about somebody and what they're doing, what they ain't doing. It. It's like you bring in, you bring in bad karma to yourself because you know you ain't living right. All right? You know you ain't living right. So think how you want, but I ain't got time for it. I, I gotta I got deal with me. I gotta be clear about what I'm doing. I, I don't have time to be worrying about who's doing what, why they doing it, who they doing, what they say. I don't care. You stay in your lane. If you can stay in your lane, because see, when you stay in your lane, you fixing your life. But when you ain't fixing your life and you trying to stay in somebody else's life and seeing everything they doing and what they doing, how they doing it, you can't even think about your own life because you're too busy thinking about somebody else's life. Stay in your lane. You will, you will realize how much you have accomplished when you stay in your lane. Okay? That's all I'm going to say. Stay in your lane. All right? Now, I want to thank all those who send me love and stay in their lane. I love that. I want to send you nothing but love when you can stay in your lane. All right? It's hard for uh for people to mind their business and not worry about what's going on in somebody else's household. But when you can do it, you're staying in your lane and minding your business. Don't worry about what somebody else is doing. You got too much to worry about yourself, but you want to add on. To your life what somebody is doing and stalking people. And, and stalking people, like I said, in whatever way you're doing it. I don't have time for it. Okay? Stay in your lane. All right? You will find out everything you want to know if you just stay in your lane and not look for it. It will speak about it by itself. Do you understand what I mean? All right? Now, if anybody go onto my webpage and purchase my Black Magic Spellbreaker candle, like I was saying yesterday, that, that reading was something else. And I ain't never done a reading with cards like that. It was reading itself, right? But this Black Magic Spellbreaker candle, it is for people that are, a lot of people are into this, um, supernatural power, right? Or this magic um, for 
evil and self purpose. And that is what this is about to break all that off. The next candle is the abundant. You know, like, what do you want in your life? You want to heal, right? You want to grow. You want to be able to um, plant something with the intentions to have all your abundance and your wealth, all right? This is the candle, all right? Um, the next candle is the love yourself candle. Nobody love you like you. And then it's the justice candle that it is for all things that are going through court. Any court matter, that is the candle. This is the Palo Santo on the stage to air out your house, right? My oils come in oil form and in dry form. And I put these on all the time. I never go without my oils, ever, 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 right? The red brick dust is what is needed, especially full moon, new moon, every day. You know, depending on which, where you at, what kind of protection you want, okay? You got the uh, crystals and stones, all right? Uh, my evil eye braces, my chakras, all right? Like I said, detox your hand and your feet every day before you go to bed. Make this a habit. And especially if you got kids and, you know, having problems in school or, you know, get bullied and all that. Definitely do that for your kids. You know, um, I got herbs in the bag. Use what is for you. It's plenty to use for you. And like I said, I got to take a day where I can restock my whole inventory in my store. I have to do it. And I keep saying, I got to do it. I got to take a whole week because it takes a lot to do it. But I got to do it. Okay. I go in there and I notice I'm out of a lot of stuff and I need to do it. All right. So, let's get into the reading. Let's get into this reading. All right. Um, Okay. And I'm going to say something to y'all. When you wake up all times at night, you look at the clock and it tells you the same time. Right? It's angels or trying to get your attention. But I want you to know, like you wake up to 222, 333, 444, all them. But you got to also know that when your body is at ease, you have all kinds of spirits around you. Good ones, all kinds. That's why you need to sort your hands and your feet every night. And... My best, best thing to say is you're not bigger than God. God is bigger than you. So you need to leave. That's the, that is like, I'm telling you right now, the devil is not bigger than God. God is in power. All right? Yes, he is. Bigger than anything. You need to protect yourself. And you don't play with candles. I'm trying to tell people to stop playing with candles. If your candle is not burning right, it's something ain't right in your life. If your candle goes out on you, you better watch yourself. Especially if it's black. All right? 
people, well, my candle did this, my candle, yeah, well, it's telling you something. Like, you just don't, what you, what? You better stop playing, talking about what your candle is doing. And I need a light, and I need to do this. And you're, you're messed up, baby. It's something ain't right, all right? And that's what it's telling you. That's what it's telling you. All right, angels, please help me do this read. Or Michael, Jonah, or come in and tell me, help me do this read. Or Michael, Jonah, or please allow me to do this reading. Or Michael, Jonah, or please help me do this reading. Give me one more, angels. Give me one more. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Okay, so you got the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. You got the Strength card, Leo. Oh, wow. Wow. I love this Strength card. Look at that. That is beautiful. <laughs> Major. Then you got the Knight of Swords. Clarity, ideas. Air such, I mean, Pisces, Scorp I mean, uh, Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You got the Nine of Cups, Pisces showing up. And you got the Ace of Swords. All these three cards came out at the same time the Page, the Cups, and the Swords. All right? Now, it's something here that is feels like it ain't moving. Like it's something not moving. Something is, but the thing though, it it it, it, it you need it's not taking action. It seems like things just don't like you're not moving towards something. Right? You just sit. There's a plan. I know I need to do it. I know I need to, there's a path that I need to do. There's something new that I need to do, right? And I need to do it. I got to get the strength to do it. And it, and it. But it has a lot of patience to get there, right? And then you got the strength card that is telling you, you are huge. This, 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 whatever it is that's going on, it's like, it's an infinity sign. It's saying, I'm pretty huge. It's a line in me that is stronger than I can even imagine. But I know I need to move. I know I need to do this. I know I need to take action in this. I know I got I gotta have the strength to do it. Because I know it means a lot to me. It's something I need to do, but I got to be strong to do it. Okay? And then comes these three cards that fell out. All of these cards fell out. Which is saying, I'm looking at this. I got the swords. All right? It can be someone young. It can be a new beginning, a new path, a new idea. Right? But I know I need to do this, but it, it, it's... I got to have the strength to do it because something here is not, you just sitting there or they're sitting there. Getting the strength to do something. It, it takes a lot to get the strength to do something. Right? To get the, to, to get you to push you to do something, it takes a lot. Because you, it's like a plan, but I, I know I got to do this. But I, I, I got to be strong to do it. 
to make that move, right? But it's an idea, but I'm, I'm looking. But I got my source. I'm, I'm looking at all this. Right? And whatever it is that I need to do, because there's something that's coming in my head, I need to do it. And I'm mixing it. I'm a drink for me. It's going to make me happy. Yes, it is. It's going to make me happy. Right? The Ace of Swords is that the truth, seeing things for, being clear about seeing things for the truth. And here it shows cut. But it's something, it is, it is all looking at this, okay, I, I need a move, but why? I need to make this move, I really do, um, but I got to get the strength to do this. And it's, it's, I'm thinking about it, right? Um, and I know once I make that move and get the strength to do it, it's going to make me happy. It's going to make me, it's going to make me happy. I'm going to be able to be happy in a place. And, and the thing about this is, is major. Something is major that if you, is you know you need to do it because it's going to bring you to Something new, but this gonna fulfill it's, it's like making you very happy, right? But you gotta be, you it's it's like it, it's it's like the truth, something that you cut to get to the truth, and it's something that's gonna be clear, it's gonna be so clear to you. That it, once you come to this, once you decide to make this move, and whatever it is, is a move that you need to do, it's going to make you happy because you're no longer going to be constantly thinking about it. It's like something here needs to be done. But why <coughs> is it not done? I don't know. Somebody need to be. If you can get into moving to into this thing that you need to do, but it's like it is, and it's a child. It's it's something like it's like a a, a child. It's a little. It's like a child in you. It's like this child in you. Got to get the strength to do something. That I don't know if it's if I don't know if, if whatever it is, it's something here that feels like it's not moving, and it's saying, "This child, you got to get the strength. You got to become. You got to be pretty big to come out of that child, and 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 say because it's like a child, and this child." looks like it is big but then you looking at it. it's like you staring at each other and it's saying come on now get out of that come join me let's make this move let's make let's be happy and because there's something here that needs to be clear and it's the truth with the Ace of Swords. And not only is it the truth. It's a force that's telling you. You, you got to have a force to do this. The main card that is my major here. Is the strength card of Leo. To tell you that. There is nothing, 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 nothing. That you can't do. It's connecting to your mind and your body. 
It is huge. And see, once you connect your mind to your body, it's like your soul is taking over. It's, but you got to get the strength to get this part of you to, to, to tame yourself. But do it with class. And then you will be able to. It's like something just going to come in your head and say, whoa. Damn, that, yeah, that's right. That makes me feel good. I know that I can be happy, right? Because it's cutting to the truth. It's like, I see it. I believe it. it. I've said that if you stop asking questions, you stop seeking it. It'll come to you, but you just got to stop asking and seeking. It's like you, if you, Believe. If what you believe is what it is, but it's like you need to. It's like almost like I. But I still need to see it because if I don't see it, I don't believe it, and that's the problem. Because you don't see it, you don't believe it because you don't know it, you don't trust it. But God says, you don't have to see me to believe in me. All you got to do is know me. That's what God says. And if you know me, and you believe in me, everything will fall right in your hand. But you got to know me. And that's what it said. It says, you you, you got to know yourself. It's like saying this. Say, um, just say that, um, how can I say this? Just say that you thought you seen something walk by you, right? But nothing is there, but you seen it walk by you. And then you say, what was that? But you seen it. But what was that? What was that? <laughs> it's saying, honey, I'm trying to give you signs. I'm trying to show you signs. But you're not, you're not paying attention. Right? And that's what it's saying. It's saying, you got to get the strength to move forward. Because... When you can move forward to whatever it is that you're moving, whether it's a, a situation or whether it's an idea, okay, whether whatever it is, it's moving forward with this new door that's open up that's going to make you happy. And it's going to be clear as freaking day. You're going to know it because you're going to believe it. It's your mind connecting to your body. And when your body and mind connects to it together in the right way, your soul becomes one. And you move on with, a, with your conscience is so clear. It's like, you, it's like I'm going to say it again. It, just, it said it. It said if you believe that you can leave something behind and 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 you and, and it's not it's like you you learn you learn that you can leave it behind and life goes on you're gonna be good because Pisces you cannot hold on to something that no longer fits you You got to move on and, and have the strength to do it, the guts to do it, all right? You have to have the guts to do it. And when you do it, when you get the guts to do it, 
and you get your panties out of your behind and do it, you are in the right path. And believe it, that you can do it. It's like, oh shit, I did that. You're damn right. Because you believed in yourself. All right, come on now. Tell me about this Knight of, of Pentacles. The Three of Cups. The Three of Cups is... I wasn't moving, but now I'm moving and now I'm celebrating. I'm celebrating. I'm, I'm going to celebrate this with my family and everything because the nice is taking action. Now, whatever it is, I'm taking action. It's a celebration here. Right? Tell me more about the strength. Two cards fell out. The page of sword with the strength. The page of sword. What what are your thoughts? What are you thinking here? I just said, what are you thinking? You know? What are you thinking? You get the world. You get the strength, the page, and the world. Okay? So you got the mind and the body, right? The mind and the body. And then you got the mind. And it's something here that needs to it is it needs to be. It's an idea, something that's saying, I need to connect to this. I need to do it. But it can be in a feisty way. You got to tame yourself. It can be a child too, right? But it's also saying, I got to end these cycles. I need to take my mask off, right? I got stars. You definitely, you definitely look like you're dealing with a air sign here about this move. And if, if, and it also can say, well, I'm not making a move because I'm dealing with another person. There's another person involved here. And I can't move towards you because it's another person. And, you know, that's why I can't move because there's something else in the way. Right? And so, but I'm getting the strength. Right? Because it's the number eight. I'm getting the strength. Right? I'm getting the strength. It's the number eight. The body and the mind need to connect, right? It needs to make sense here. And I'm trying to come up with this idea, but sometimes this can be, it's like telling you, it's something here needs to end. Something needs to be done with because you got the world, the strength. Something here needs to end. A cycle needs to be done with. Because the world ain't going to stop. The world continues you to... It ain't... Honey, if the world stop, what the hell? You won't have night and day. You won't have nothing. We will be stuck. But the world is telling you, this needs to end. It needs to be done with. You need to take your... your honey, you need to take your blindfolds off. And see shit for what it is. What is the problem? What is so hard for you to do? Like what it is. Please. It's trying to tell you. How much. How much you need to see to believe the truth. How many times something's got to happen. How many times people don't know how to make up their mind. Because they don't want to see the truth. They want to stop. The world don't stop. Do you understand? What are you going to stop while somebody continue to live? You going to put your life on hold while the world keeps moving on? You want to stop doing. It's like you're going to stop doing what you're doing for the. Because. You're not finished with that. And the world is moving on. That is crazy. You want to be left back when this eclipse comes and this new moon comes because you still don't know how to release something that is, <laughs> that is outdated. That is called X because it's, it's X out. 
It's outdated. It don't even fit you. It don't even look right with you. What the hell's wrong with you? Come on now. Tell me more. Spirits, talk to me. Because you got two pages here. It's new beginners, but it's like, I don't know why you still looking at it like, I can't. I, I still need more time. I still need to see more. Go ahead, honey. If that's what you need, that's your damn business. You still need to see more. You need to learn more from somebody. What? Okay. You can be a student all you want. There you go. There it goes. There it goes. It's right there. Okay, check it out. So, you still sitting there waiting because your emotions are taking over you. Because there is something else in the way. And you letting this something else stand in your way because you ain't got the strength to say, get the fuck out of here. I'm done with you. I don't want to be bothered no more. It's not worth it. I've been going through this for a long time, but I need to see it. I don't know how much more you need to see. I don't know. How much more do you need to see? I want to say something to you. Sometimes you get, and I'm going to say this to you, Pisces. Sometimes you get involved with something that didn't even work out for you. And then guess where you go back to? The old, because that's who you call. That's who you talk to. And that ain't going to never change either. It ain't going to never change. So you dipping your ass back into poison. Getting out of poison, going back into poison. Like, you need to make up your mind because you got a confused head. If somebody got that much power over you, there must be some bad pieces of something up in there. It ain't that much piece of good shit for me in the world. I choose God. I, I see you for who you are. Trash. That's right, trash. So here is this. It's me. Let me tell you something. The page. I, this is cutthroat. Somebody got a smart ass mouth. Cutthroat. They coming up with a whole new idea. Let me see how I can get over on this one. Right. And I'm going to come and, and, and just give it to a poet. Oh, I love and I'm going to give you this. I'm going to give you that. I'm going to help you. I'm going to do everything for you. And you need to see it, see that for what it is, right? Because there's something being clear to you that something just is not right. But I'm going to make you happy. Honey, it got you so fucked up it's not even funny. Because it's the source. And you're dealing with air that is not meant for you and would never be meant for you. Ever. I don't care how much you try. I don't care. You will never be able to fix this person. Because this person and you will never operate. Whoever this person is that is in your space and in your surrender is not for you, will never be for you. You need to close it, end it, and be finished with it. Finish with it. Okay? Because it would never, you can't fit them. You can't fit the shoes. You can't wear, you, you just don't even look right with it. And you know it. You know it. What did I say at the beginning? If you mind your business and you worry about your life, your life, you're going to do a lot better. But you're not worrying about it because you're too busy worrying about, ah, but they say they love me and, they, and, and then they're going to do this and they're going to do that. But they don't do it. It's all a lie. It's a lie. You don't know what it is to get better because you think that's better because you sizing somebody. And then you saying, oh, this is better what I had. Or, or my side piece is better than what, because my man did this. Or my baby father or my husband. Somebody did something wrong to me. And, and but this is better. No, it ain't neither one of them are better. They trash. They trash. Because they come in nothing but pain to you. They're not offering you nothing but misery. And it's like. You can't see it because you can't get past it. It's like you don't want to see this shit. 
And if you don't want to see it, I don't know what to tell you. Like, I'll like, go ahead and learn more lessons. Go let somebody play with your mind again. Because they ain't got shit to offer you. And this person might be younger than you. You know, this like real childish, childish mind. Like, they ain't got nothing but chaos in your life. Right? They 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 don't know when to grow up. They still wanna drink, the party. They still want to play house somewhere else. They manipulate us. They use us. They don't have nothing for you. Right? They don't have nothing for you, but you just don't believe it because you don't want to let it be. You you act like that's the best thing that you ever had. That's a damn lie. This person is seeing other people, got you on a third way shit, but very young. But you don't see that they not your world. This person is not your world. What day of the week are you with them? What what day of the week do they make time for you? Honey, what they lying? They, they lying to you. They want to keep you somewhere because it's no movement with this person. Why it ain't no movement? Because they got other people. Okay? And you getting the strength, and what what you getting the strength to what? To make up your mind when you want to leave, when to be when, when you want to be done, because it's it's a lot of kid game, a lot of immature shit. You you can't. It's like it's like being at a park and you and, and that's all you gonna do is play. But when it comes to being serious, there ain't no sense. And you know what's crazy? This person gets better at their game. This person gets better at their game. And you know the worst feeling in the world is to know that somebody can play with you and get to the point that you, it's like they're not afraid to play with you, like show you that you ain't nothing to them because it's other things that are important. And then they get you and they get the next person. And both people know that this person can do whatever they want. Because both people know about each other. That's the worst feeling in the world. It's like, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell them something. I'm going to make you feel this way. I'm going to make them. And they don't really even give a fuck. Because they plan two people the same way. Okay? They are manipulators. And you deal with an air sign here. It can be a child. It can be a person. It can be somebody younger than you. It can be somebody being too childish. You, they probably got you in the third. They don't give a fuck about you. But you think they do because you think the world of this person, this world person's wearing a mask. All right? Tell me more about this three of cups. Tell me more about this three of cups. Tell me more about this three of cups. And it ain't no moves. Tell me more. I'm a move. I'm a lever. I'm, I'm not. Yeah, you're a liar. They lying. The three of cup is showing up again. Look how miserable you look. Look how miserable you look. The sun. I mean, Pisces. Starter. All right. Um, I, I don't understand it. Like first prize. What is that? It says a new manage, a new message. From Queen, oh, the green card to use. A new message from the green card to use. Hmm. It don't make no sense. This don't make no sense. I don't know who I'm talking to, but Something is just ain't right. 
Three of Cups is a celebration here, but you don't look happy. It's like somebody telling you, it says a green car. Congratulations. It's like somebody is bragging about their happiness. I guess you listening to somebody bragging about or knowing that somebody is happy somewhere else or, or, or on a trip or something. Going somewhere or went somewhere, but it ain't you involved in it. It's someone else. All right? Someone's traveling. It may be, maybe it's about a child or, but they're traveling. They, 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 honey, you, you, you upset and you just watching this person. This person is like, got, Moving on, but it's like they moving on, like they doing things, but you sitting there just sitting there while they, it's like you, it's like you looking for information, but everything you looking for is upsetting you because it's not for you. This person is happy wherever they at or what they doing. You watching this, and, but it ain't for you. It's like you watching social media. You watching the way this person moves. You watching them who they with. You looking at pictures. They taking pictures of them and their family or whatever it is or a child or something here, but it ain't you. Shit. And I don't know. It, it, to me, it's like, I don't know. I don't know if it's. I don't know, but I see a family. I see it in couple, and you're not part of this deal. Tell me more, spirits, about this. Spirits, tell me more. You got the world. You got the sun. It don't make no sense. The three of swords. Too many people involved. It's pain. The ten of wands. Let, it's like, why don't you just let go of all this weight you can on you? You, it's like you overworking yourself with all of this shit that's going on. It, it, it ain't got shit to do with you, but you making it about you. It's like you don't want to tie loose ends because you want to play a blind eye to what is going on. You, you, it's like you, you are. Trying to gather all this evidence that ain't shit about you. This remind me of somebody that's a side chick. This remind me of somebody that know that you don't even belong in the picture, but you're in the picture. And all you do is stalk some, and I mean stalk somebody. Look at their page. Look at what they doing. Zoom at everything that's around them because you want to see everything. You want to zoom into shit. You want to gather information. Okay? It's like you want, when I tell you you want to know, you want to know everything. Right? And the thing is, who are you hurting? It's the question your damn self. Because somebody's in a third party. And I know that for a fact. And somebody here is. It, yeah, some might think they they gonna make them happy, but honey, you ain't getting happy with this person because this person ain't doing nothing but being causing you misery. It's like like somebody here is just downright stupid, just dumb. Whoever this Pisces is, you you kind of stupid, like you dumbfounded, like like something is not right with you. Like you, your life must have been fucked up. Or you must have just went through something that was, that, or you've been through a, a devastation before, and you keep getting to other relationship and going long term relationship, and none of them are working for you because it's not for you. It's like you don't know when the end cycles. Like I, it's like you you dip into this and dip into that, and none of the dipping you're doing is good for you. And all of it is bringing nothing but pain. I don't give a fuck how many people you meet. 
What you do here, what you do there, ain't none of it for you. Because you just can't end shit. And you don't do the work in yourself. It's like you, you downgrade yourself. It's like you put yourself at the, the bottom of the barrel. And, oh, where they are, I might not have it here, but when I go there, everybody look at me, they think, I don't give a fuck how much they think when you sit you on. You are still where you was then. Then. Because you don't know how to end the past, end the cycles. And no matter who you meet, they become the past and they do the same shit. Okay? The three of swords spirits. Tell me what this three of swords is here. It's like you are sick of all this shit. But guess what? That's what you do. Tell me more. Tell me more. It's like shit. You work hard and then you work hard on a relationship. And, and, and it's like it's crazy. No matter what, no matter who you meet, you still gonna go through the same shit. Work hard as fuck for them. Work hard as all that work. Just standing in your own way. All right. The nine of cup. This and you got the nine of cup twice. I'm going to eat good. I'm going to do what I want. Because I'm going to make them think whatever they want. Okay? It's like this person eating large, living large, drink, like to drink. They drinking their asses off. But look, I'm going to eat like a pig and you one of my cups. I'm going to eat like a fucking pig. I'm messy as fuck. Yep, I'm messy as fuck. And they just playing with you. Playing with you, telling you what you want to hear. But they messy as shit. It's like they want to drink out of your cup, the next person cup, the next person cup. And they messy. They just slobs. They, look at this. Ain't nobody else. This is how I feel. Look at them. Look how they eat. Look how they think of you. Right? And they, they, it's like I'm a drink. It's like, like a fucking fat pig. This person is, whoever this person is, you won't, it's like they, it's like they, a fat pig. A fat pig. And I mean a fat pig. And it, 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 Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, they, 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 this person ain't not, no good for shit. It's like they just want to drain you and they want to, they want to, it's like they plan. It's like they, ugh. They probably out of shape. They, they just eating and eating and they just want to drink with you. And it's like they want to play games with you. They want to lie to you. They eat good there, they eat good here, they eating good, they drinking good, they playing with you. And you are in a third party, somehow, some way situation. I'm eat, I'm showing you I'm eating good. That's right, I am. And I got you over here and you over here. I got you all up in your fucking head. And I'm living over here. I, I play with you, I come when I want. I do what I want to do with you. I ain't even got to be with you and I still fucking play. Oh my God. This is not good. But they got you what they want because they tell you everything they did you want to hear. This person likes to play. This like this person likes to be the life of the party. They 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 travel. They 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 travel a lot. They move around a lot. Like, this person is a hot disaster, and that's exactly what they're doing with you. Plan your ass out. And guess what? I don't give a damn if you say, I'm not with them, I'm not with nobody. And it's even worse if they're coming in your house and they don't even live. They, they didn't even... Financially, they don't do shit. But play with you. I ain't got time for that shit. The lovers... More than one. They know how to play their games. This person is a player, a liar, all right? Likes to take, drain your spirit from you, your soul. Just like, a, it, just like stealing your joy, all right? 
and look at you. But I, I, if I can just think, I have faith that this will work. If I believe that they love me. I, I just, honey, go on now, baby. Somebody here is young-minded, immature, and I don't give a fuck what age you are. You immature. You too immature to play. You, you too old to be playing these fucking games. Just keep laying in the bed with them. Just keep playing. Let them play with your mind and body and soul. Let them toss you around like and make you feel good because that's all they're going to do is make you feel good. To drop your ass like a hot potato. I mean, to leave you and abandon you and lie to you. That's what they're going to do. That's exactly what they're doing. Even if they ain't with you, they in your in your space. They they. They not apply nothing in your life, in your finance or nothing. They just playing games. They ain't depositing shit in your life but a bunch of games. They say these sweet little lies, sweet little words to make you feel good. It's like you, it's, I don't care if you in a relationship or you're not, or you're in a third party and you ain't talking to them. They playing games with your spirit, your essence and your oils. The minute you let them in your life, they play with you. The minute you close the door, you have sex with them. That's all they want you for. They, they're not leaving shit. they just painting the picture to make you believe what they want to believe. All right? That's all it is. Wake up, Pisces. Smell the coffee. Talk to you later. Bye. If you need to read and get it from me or someone else. Because I don't hate on nobody. Okay? When I mean on nobody, nobody. Bye.